Hey guys, it's Loot Wizard here with another video on Gems of War, and in this one, we are doing another recommended troops in the Soul Forge uh, because it is a new week and they have changed. So, starting with the uh, summoning stones here, uh, we're starting off with the blue summoning stones. And just looking at this real quick here, I would say the best troop to try to get in here is your Forest Troll. Uh, simply because Force Troll is pretty powerful as far as generating uh, green mana for your troops. It doubles the number of green gems on the board, then it creates three more green gems. Uh, also, it is actually a pretty good tank when you have these traits uh, unlocked here. For the first trait, it inflicts Entangle when doing Skull Damage, uh, which will reduce the enemy's uh, Skull Damage to zero as long as it's Entangled. Uh, and it will also reduce damage from skulls by 33% if you have uh, the final trait unlocked. Uh, besides that, it is also a giant, so if you have the class uh, Titan fully traded, giants will start with 50% mana, which will cut the 12% or the 12 uh, mana down to 6. So yeah, that's the best one in blue that I can uh, see here. Uh, moving on to green. Uh, let's see, green, I can't really recommend anything in green, um, other than if you want to try to get this troop here ascended as high as possible, uh, for your towers, but I can't really recommend that, um, yeah, green day doesn't have much, red day, um, uh, Hmm. Yeah, I don't think uh, there's anything really here that I would waste uh, red jewels on. Yellow. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything worth going for in yellow either. Purple. Um, I don't know. I would probably say if you don't have Banshee for some reason, early game, uh, maybe try to get Banshee because it's uh, good for gaining souls and it does convert blue gems to red. So, but yeah, uh, I don't even know if I would waste jewels trying to get that though because it's not guaranteed. Um, but yeah, that's probably the best one out of purple. Now for brown. Yeah, brown doesn't have much that's good this week either. Uh, rock spirit seems to be... I remember using rock spirit uh, a lot when I was a lower level. Uh, because it destroys a row in a column. Deals damage randomly split among enemies. Boosted by brown gems destroyed. Boost ratio is 4. Um, so it'll add 4 damage um, per brown gem destroyed um, and it has skull reduction by 50% so maybe try to get that but again you probably already have it because um, I'm pretty sure you can get this in gold keys I remember getting it pretty early on in the game um, but yeah not, not much there either for brown uh, legendaries we don't really have anything great for legendaries this week and uh, it's probably not a good thing to use your diamonds on legendaries. There's very few that are worth the 800 diamonds. So in early early game, 5,000 souls is, is quite a lot of souls to to spend crafting a legendary troop. Now, for mythics, we actually do have two very good mythic troops this week. Pharos Ra is in the Soul Forge, and if you don't have Pharos Ra yet, it is really great for. Uh, generating souls and it also transforms yellow gems to purple and it does damage boosted by your souls so by the time you cast ferris Ra a second time uh you, your souls will boost it it's a boost ratio of one for one as well so yeah let's say if you if you've collected a hundred souls uh ferris Ra will be doing a hundred or over a hundred damage so uh it, it's it uses it has a lot of different uses. Uh, I don't use it as much as I used to, but um, 
because obviously I don't need that many souls anymore. But it is also good for damage, so once you fully trade it, it gains a uh, 150 bonus to souls from battle, which is really important. So the highest card, I believe, that gives you a bonus of souls is only 50%, besides Pharos Ra. So it's like having three of those cards uh, in your, your team, just by having one Pharos Ra. Uh, so yeah, Pharos Ra is probably, I would say, the first one to get out of these mythics if you don't already have it. One other thing to note is that it is also a, considered a divine troop, and with the legendary card uh, Ishbala, you can make this card start with 40% mana, which could help in some team setups, but if you're using it primarily for souls, you're not going to use Ishbala in that team. But yeah, so Ferris Ra, number one choice if you don't already have it. Number two choice in the mythics, I would say Megavore. Megavore is probably um, second or third most powerful mythic in the game, but it's I would consider it definitely in the top five. Uh, Megavore is great. What it does is it destroys all enemy armor, and then it basically, its damage is true damage basically, because it's destroying all enemy armor. Uh, and it deals pretty high damage as well, so uh, mine says 53 damage to an enemy, and then it will submerge itself. Now, for its traits, it actually has some pretty good traits. It has immune to all status effects, devour, and mana burn, so it can't be devoured. Uh, so, if you're going up against a team where there's a lot of different troops in there to devour, or if they have the mythic card, uh, the King Iron Gut Goblin Mythic, which uh, has a potential to have a 100% chance to devour troops, Megavore is immune to that. Um, and then the finally, it has the 8% chance to kill the last enemy on 4 or 5 matches. So, now this 8%, it's not a huge deal, but I've used Megavore enough where uh, it really does help just all of a sudden you'll see the last troop just die on a 4 or 5 match. It's lethal damage. So, um, that's pretty awesome. Now, as far as, it really does, it's one of the heaviest hitting troops in the game, because when you think about it, it destroys all enemy armor uh, when you cast it. So if, if well, let's just take for an example, if you're doing a pet battle or maybe a delve, and the enemy has 100 armor on every single troop, it's going to remove all that armor. So it's basically doing, f if they all have 100, da uh, 100 armor, it's doing 400 damage basically to the entire enemy team with one cast just because it's destroying all enemy armor so uh, Megavore definitely recommend it uh, if you already have Pharos Ra but you don't have Megavore definitely get Megavore uh, or if you're in a situation where you you've already got enough souls uh, that you're happy with crafting or upgrading a lot of your troops, even without Ferris Ra, you just simply want to do a lot of damage uh, uh, with a good mythic. Megavore is the one to go with. So, yeah, those are my recommendations this week, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, as always, and later.